Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to create a new report in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. Let's start creating a new report in Primavera P6. From Tools go to Reports, and then choose Report Groups. From this window we will add a report group in which we will save our report. Now we will click it button. Next we will name our report group, so for example let's name it AB Enterprise. Close it for now, and then go to the tools list again, we will choose reports option. Then we will scroll down to see our new reports group we have created. And here is our AB Enterprise group we added earlier. Now from add option here. I will add a new report. And then click next. From here we will select the requirements or what you want to show in your report. For example, we may select the activity or activity code assignment till the end of the list. For now, I will select the activities report and click on next. From here we can add the columns we want to show in our report for example activity ID and activity status. I will add activity name. From duration I will add the regional duration and remaining duration. I also need the total float. We can select anything to include in our columns. OK. Now from the group and sort we can select how we want to group and sort our report. For example, we show the grand total by clicking here. And here we can choose to sort the report as of our WBS or any other method you prefer. Now press apply and then OK. Now from filter we can filter a specific area for your report from the command of filter here. Now click on next and from this window we can select the report title. I will name it float report and then click on next. From here we will run our report. and then choose Print Preview and click on OK. And now this is the report we have created in Primavera P6 including Activity ID, Activity Name, Activity Status, Original Duration, Remaining Duration and finally the Total Float. The report is organized by WBS. And as per the sort of option we have choose. We can print our report from here or save it from here as a PDF. Now click on next and from here we can save our report as we can see from the message here, or it will be lost. If you choose to save your report, you can run it later from the report screen otherwise it will be lost. Now the report has been saved and we are done. Now your report saved here under the AB Enterprise group we created earlier. This is the way we can create a report in Primavera P6. Thanks for watching.